strained relationship with his children. Additionally, he suffered from alcoholism and depression. In 1936, he won the Nobel Prize in Literature. In 1953, he died at the age of 65 in a hotel in Boston. Okay, so this is all about his life and works. Uh, interesting is that he was born in a hotel and he died in a hotel, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, see, um, he was uh, uh, he was born in New York City at a hotel called Barrett House, and he was an actor. And so, as uh, as a result, he has developed a kind of uh, his father being an actor. He had to travel uh, with his own group or troupe. Uh, so uh, he uh, uh, he developed the uh, kind of interest uh, in theater. And uh, another important thing is he started his undergraduate studies at Harvard University, but uh, he left, he didn't continue. And uh, then he joined uh, Greenwich Village Literary Scene and also P Provincetown Players. Uh, his famous works are, uh, this is his uh, very, uh, 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 you know, one of the best loved uh, play, uh, Long Day's Journey into Night. And Mooning be Becomes Electra. The underlined um, uh, plays are important. The e Emperor Jones, Desired Under the Elms, The Iceman Cometh, uh, Mo Mooning Becomes Electra. These are, and also Long Day's Journey into Night. This is also very uh, famous. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, that he received um, Nobel Prize in 19, 1936 for his contribution in literature. And uh, but his uh, uh, marital life was not happy. He suffered a lot. Uh, and uh, but he was successful as a he was addicted to alcohol, uh, and he died at the age of 65. Ma'am, we can hear you properly. Ma'am, we are not hearing you.
সাকিব জি ভাই আমাদের কি কানেকশন ঠিক আছে আমাদের কানেকশন ঠিক আছে ম্যাম মেবি ডিসকানেক্ট হয়ে গেছে ম্যাম ডিসকানেক্ট হয়ে গেছে আচ্ছা আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে নাম কি দেখতেছি আমার কি এটকি কানেক্টেড আছে কি আপার ক্লাস অর পার্ট অফ দোসাইটি so desperately looking for his own identity okay so yes, this class tension is very much uh, uh, conscious and unconscious uh, leave, uh, they are trying to find out their new identity uh but which they fail to do that both are going oh. through identity crisis yeah there is a, a identity because they on uh, he can is and um, uh, so can describe the uh, look behavior ডমিনেটেড বাই আদার্স সো ইয়া দিস ইজ অ্যানাদার ক্যারেক্টার বিল্ডার্স আন্ট we uh, we know that milder uh place at is somewhere uh, which is not a very comfortable or in the ship yeah for end of the ship now me Uh, she is a stuffy middle-aged woman who is intensely critical of Milda's involvement in social work. Milda's aunt has no taste for deformity and thinks Milda makes the poor only feel poorer with her presence. Now, Milda, uh, uh, aunt, Milda's aunt, she doesn't like um, Milda's involvement in the charity. She uh, is continuously discouraging her from getting involved in... Um, helping the disadvantaged people and she uh, advised her or she advises her that uh, if she uh, does this kind of social service uh, uh, the poor the uh, poor people will feel they are poorer because that will create a kind of discrimination that he the poor man can 
easily recognize that he is different from uh, the upper class. So that's why uh, Milda's aunt doesn't like uh, her um, uh, uh, intention or plan of helping the poor people because uh, as uh, Milda, uh, she thinks that Milda makes the poor only feel poorer with her presence. This is also true that um, uh, when Milda is helping the poor, she is creating a kind of um, barrier that she belongs to upper class and she is helping the uh, poor people. Yeah. Okay. Then we have another character who is uh, whose name is Long, and Long is a fireman aboard the ocean liner who preaches Marxism. Now you know Marxism. I think we have not studied Marxism yet in our contemporary yes, literary theories. We will read uh, Marxism uh, soon, inshallah. Marxism is a theory where it is shown that all animals or everybody is equal. Okay, um, like there will be no discrimination, no class struggles, no difference. Uh, everybody will enjoy the equal rights and privileges. And in a, in a country, everything will be um, uh, controlled by the state, uh, like meals and factories, everything will be state owned. Yeah, and the uh, uh, population or the people of that uh, country will serve and they will get their salary. But everybody will have the same uh, privileges, same uh, facilities. Okay, now uh, Long takes Young to New York City to prove to Young that all members of the upper class are the same. So um, here, Long is trying to show Young that Young uh, that uh, upper class people are no are different from them, and they are sort of hypocrite. Okay, um, uh, so Young is the illustration that uh, he's a fireman. But, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, so he has yes, a kind of superiority complex that uh, he is superior to others. But she, he cannot identify himself with the upper class, though he is a leader. Then uh, to the New York City to prove that uh, he is not like upper class, uh, though he is the leader. All right, so that uh, actually frustrates Young. Now there is a secretary, um, se the secretary works at the IWW office in New York City. He comes to believe that Young works. So Young with office, uh, this secretary uh, thought that he is uh, doing a government job and uh, as a result, uh, he was thrown out uh, on the street. Then there is a gentleman, a member of the upper class. He calls the police because Young causes him to miss a bus. So everywhere, Young is facing um, a, uh, a kind of, um, you know, uh, rejection. Everybody is rejecting him and uh, showing disrespect. So he cannot alienate. Uh, he cannot um, associate him with any group, with any class. And that also uh, gives him a mental uh, suffering. Uh, this second India course Mildred Douglas into the Stockholm of the ocean line. Stockholm actually where Young and other firemen, they used to live or they leave. Yes, the second engineer. Uh, he doesn't want to take uh, Milder Douglas to that place, but Milder Douglas insisted on visiting that place. So the second office uh, engineer warns Milder that her white dress will be revealed, but she uh, did not show any, uh, you know, attention. He, he didn't pay 
any attention to that warning so she wants to visit that place now there is another character the guard uh, who works at the prison uh, you know they uh, uh, had to go to prison um because uh, for causing the gentleman to miss his bus this is quite interesting uh the uh, young um, works at the, uh, uh, the guard works at the prison where young is held after causing the gentleman to miss his bus um uh, now this is uh, quite uh, very uh, it's very uh, you know it's too much uh, that a man misses his bus and he accuses young for that and he was sent to jail or prison the guard shoots a water at young when he bends the bars of his cell back so everywhere he is facing a kind of rejection um okay uh so these are uh, the character Characters. I think there are other characters. Have you understood the characters? Okay, that's it. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, all about yes, the characters. All Have you understood the characters? Yes, ma'am. okay yeah so um I, what do you think really can do uh, why do yes, you think that young is so uh, you know the relationship between young and mildred is not very good relationship uh, and you know uh, uh, if you read the story or you will find that um mildred once became fainted to see mildred um and mildred uh was about to attack uh not mildred um uh, uh young was about to attack him all right uh now uh what uh, what type of character is mildred what do you think how do you find his character um daughter of uh, aristocratic uh, family and uh, she is doing uh, charity but uh, just because he uh, she just uh, uh, educated Uh, not educated um ma'am i to porte hobe yeah she's educated she is educated yeah she is educated oh, okay charity ta korche ebong tar intention ta ki eta ekto bujhar jonno tar to porte hobe okay she uh, this is her uh, you know she studied sociology and being uh, the daughter of a wealthy man this is sort of Her fancy that she will have good intention, but again, um, uh, she the way she is behaving with young that is also uh, not very appreciable. Uh, if you look at the summary, you can see that um, uh, young uh, at the beginning he was working. with other firemen um in the engine of a trans atlantic ocean and um uh, all of them were heading toward um uh, both mildred and her aunt paddy is also there paddy is a uh, and a uh, He is idealist, and uh, there is a difference between Paddy's opinion of the life uh, and uh, Young's 
um, opinion. Uh, Mildred, uh, as we have seen that she uh, and her aunt, uh, they were, um, uh, they have a separate uh, place from promenade deck in the ocean liner. And uh, Mildred and her aunt uh, discussed Mildred's uh, uh, intention of helping the poor. Um, Mildred's aunt uh, think that her service does not, uh, is not uh, done or is, will not be appreciated uh, internationally. Mildred's aunt uh, tells Mildred that uh, the service, her work will make the poor people poorer. Um, uh, So, but Mildred is adamant. She wants to visit uh, the place of the stock uh, store, uh, 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 but um, the you know the second engineer, uh, he is um, uh, uh, he didn't want to take um, Mildred to that place, but uh, told him a lie that her father, um, uh, the president of Nazareth Steel has given her permission to visit that place. Actually, she lied. And uh, uh, when um, he arrived, the second engineer, uh, Mildred, uh, and uh, she was in a, a white dress. And she, uh, he refused to, uh, he, she, uh, she was asked to change the dress because if she goes to the stock hall, her white dress will be dirty. And uh, in the stock hall, Young and the other um, firemen, they are working hard uh, because uh, they had to shovel coal um, in the stock hall. Um, and uh, Young is the leader. Um, the, uh, when the men uh, were, uh, were taking a break, uh, there was a kind of uh, whistleblower who is actually, um, uh, uh, Hank was screaming uh, to the whistleblower, uh, and he realized that the men have stopped working, but Hank doesn't want to stop the work. Uh, then Young uh, faced Mildred. Uh, 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 when she uh, found uh, Young Miller, um, becomes a very angry and, and um, you know Hilda uh, shouting was shot at young by saying that he's a beast and um, uh, he's a uh, screaming two words by quality dish into the number We have their, uh, they are calling uh, the other men as animal and as, all right. For example, uh, here, Young is called filthy beast by Mildred. Um, so the workers, they used to, uh, they are working in the stock hole. So when the whistleblowers whistle, they stopped working, which is not, which is against the intention of Young. Now the uh, the workers again um, assembled in the stock hall. Uh, they uh, they are making fun of the Mildred scene. That how Mildred uh, after on seeing Young. He, she got painted, and she called um, uh, Young the Beast. Uh, tells Young uh, uh, that Mildred looked at him like he was a big hairy ape. Uh, um, actually. Um, uh, found it very um, okay. um, 
so for the time we have seen that yang is face a kind of uh, disrespect and um, a kind of rejection and finally we have seen the and uh, the rejected him uh, or he didn't allow him to make him suspicious in front of us out of it then young uh, spends the nuts up um, and his activities uh, made the site uh, outside right and um, the uh, eighth scene uh, here uh, uh, young wants to be the friend of and tries to say uh, or the words they are alike are both are stimulated uh, by um, so they um, club or now he is calling him uh, so Young finally he uh, uh, tries to shake hand with uh, the ape. Barilla jumps on Young. And, uh, he kills Young. with his group now in the upper class nor in the facing uh, the from the age not uh, uh, he can uh, he finds a, a kind of identical um, uh, similar it is with the ape but uh, even the ape uh, doesn't show any mercy or any kind of um, uh, uh, good relationship with Young, and uh, on the other hand, Young is killed by that gorilla or A. So, this is the summary of this. Um, okay, have you understood? Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, Hizbullah, you are here. Can you yes, miss. can you uh, can you share your opinion about this play? Ma'am, I am a Arabic bar ma'am. Put to me. Amar, amar ma'am. University mail ID. Tabi tabi ma'am. Somos shot sa. Ito no dukte put si na. Ije hoy sa ma'am boost si na. Ekhon ma'am amar personal mail ID the ma'am ije kaya promise korsi. So, this is the young man is uh, always in a dilemma about his class distinction and uh, yeah. about the, about the uh, real situation in the society and the hypocrisy in the society and people showing their uh, belonging that group actually. Yeah, yeah, very good. Well done. Mm. That's all, ma'am. All right. Okay. Very good. Sakib, you want to say yes, something? Uh, from this play, I think uh, O'Neill. I mean, uh, first of all, the industrial impact, as we know, the in modernism is heavily affected. Are influenced by more industrialism, and if we see 
if you really see the in the eyes of modern time in the eyes of uh, modern society in that case yes that is a on realistic play ma'am yeah uh, because uh, we have uh, seen the you know the industrial society uh, the industrial um, uh, you know the development has brought this kind of suffering to the yes, workers and to the you know the working class people this is also uh, evident uh, from this play so it is based upon realism because that was the time when uh, people were really suffering yes ma'am okay and uh, the suffering has become a mental trauma a mental suffering uh, they were uh, uh, they found themselves nowhere uh, uh, absolutely uh, at a place where they are uh, all alone isolated um, uh, and they can work everywhere they are facing the rejection okay so any question do you have any confusion any question or you want to read the summary ma'am i would like to read first yeah one. yeah uh you know this is a modernist um play so sometimes it will be a little bit boring because uh, this has something to do with uh, the reality okay and it is also known as expressionism uh, uh so we will discuss about expression expressionism in our next class how it is considered an expressionist uh play so that will be discussed in our next class inshallah 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 okay. so uh if you don't have any question we can finish our class okay ma'am uh any question any confusion no